what do you expect when you head back to Nashville for the first time? Oh man, that's gonna be a lot of emotions. With my career there and, and my time there, as much as I wanted to win the cup and be a great player on the ice for that city, I wanna do everything I can to help this team win. And there's an attitude here that is gonna give us a great chance to win a lot of hockey games. Kurt Overhart, KO Sports Inc. We've been in business for over 25 years, been representing players for 33. Known Ryan Johansson since he's been 16 years old. My partner, Joe Oliver, who's based in Vernon, British Columbia, saw Ryan play uh, a game in the BCHL League. I was playing for Penticton in the playoffs, and he actually called me from the game. He was so excited about this tall, lanky uh, forward that was playing. And from there, we just got to know Ryan and his family. So it was quite a journey. And he was drafted fourth overall in the National Hockey League, where a year and a half before, no one knew who he was. So an unbelievable progression there. And then obviously that huge trade when he was trade, traded for uh, Jones to Nashville. Nashville was looking for a number one center. It's something they were really starved for to get over the hump. One of the biggest hockey trades really in the last 15 years, in my opinion. The expectation was when I was traded in Nashville was to help, you know, get that team to the next level and, and give ourselves a better chance at trying to play for the cup. And, you know, so I felt a lot of responsibility with that and just with my personal game and to do everything I could to help that. And, and I was really, really proud of myself and how I played. Thrilled most of my years there, and more than anything, it, it was a lot of fun and, and uh, made lifelong memories. You know those guys, you want my team, he, he, he does everything with the team, uh, whatever it is. So he's, uh, he's obviously big, he's strong, he's, he's got amazing skill, like a great passer, and um, he's a great player, but he's also like great team uh, on the ice. Whatever he needs to do to, to have success for a team, oh, yeah, that's what he does. You know, I had to elevate my leadership skills and. To, to make people around me better as well. And, and, uh, and they, they taught me that and, and showed me that. And, and I was able to be a, a key piece and, and uh, you know, helping that team mature and, and develop into a, you know, a really good hockey club for a bunch of years. There were some rumblings that Ryan might get moved, you know, in the springtime. So he was prepared. Uh, for that possibility, which is always really good. But, you know, when you get traded from pretty much any team in the league to Colorado, uh, it's, it's an honor. Uh, it's also a huge challenge. And, you know, I think Ryan's taken that challenge. Yeah, the, there are obviously changes being made. And, and any time you're not winning as a team, that was the first time we never made the playoffs in Nashville was last year. And, and when, you're, when you're going downhill, it's, it's a business, there's going to be changes. So it was, wasn't a shock to me that with the trade and, and adjustments they're making and different route and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, for me, it's more of just grateful for the opportunity that having a previous relationship with C-Mac and Coach and Pratter as well, that, you know, they they made a made a choice to give me an opportunity and believe that you know I could be a guy to help this club so you know for me it's I couldn't be happier for for an opportunity like that and with a team like the Avs here when I sit around in our room and look at the talent we have and it's it's special it's I have the same feeling I had the one year in, in Nashville and it's that same feeling it's you you feel like you're unbeatable when you're on top of your game. Like, and that's the big picture kind of headline. But then there's a whole story that we're, we got to write and the whole process of it. Couldn't pick it up all the way to the points. of door throws it right off Johansson. Here comes Ryan Johansson. He'll race in after a loose puck and an opportunity on the referee. He scores! Miko back to kill. One-timer deflected. Score! Ryan 
Johansson right between the circles. Trangelo in the box. Drew Ant out for McCarr. Score! An early power play goal. Off the faceoff. Here's McKinnon. He goes cross ice. Center in front. Unbelievable save by Morassic. Loose puck still loose. And now it's in. What do you expect when you head back to Nashville for the first time? It's like Oh man, that's gonna be a lot of emotions. With my career there and, and my time there, as much as I wanted to win the cup and be a great player on the ice for that city, I wanna do everything I can to help this team win. And there's an attitude here that is gonna give us a great chance to win a lot of hockey games. We're coming over to the Preds this year. Half short headed with the Chushkin. Wait, shoots, save, score! It's been a penalty fest here in period number one. Preds have it, shot, score! Philip Forsberg on the delayed call. Went over the top of it, the glass, the challenge. Was on, shot, score! Down to the ice, Abs have it, McCarr. Wheels and looks, steers it off McKinnon. Back to Taves with a one-timer. He scores! Devon Taves! Great it. Gives it back. Has these shots with the extra man. Here's McKinnon. Straight up for McCarr. Long wrister. Score! Val Nachushkin again! Right back to the stick of Forsberg. Into the slot. Has knocked it away. Score! Trenton was skipping ahead. Racing is Byron. The end glass, loose puck, oh no, shot, save, score! Oh my goodness gracious, I can't believe it. Here at Bridgestone Arena, thank you, video goes back. You just kind of wrap up your time in Nashville, not just for but for maybe the fans of Nashville and watching. Yeah. Um, yeah. F for me, Nashville is home now. From from day one there, I, Nashville, it felt like I belonged there. It felt like I was there for a reason. That there wasn't yeah. a coincidence that I was there. With my career there and, and my time there, as, as much as I wanted to win the cup and, and be a great player on the ice for that city, it, it was super, probably most important for me just to, just to be remembered as, as a great person, as a leader in the community. And I just wanted to leave an impact on, on everyone and just said, uh, I want to represent that organization as best I could. And, we we had some we had some great years and it was like I said it was some of the best memories of my life uh, throughout a bunch of different moments and uh, I was really really proud to to wear the Nashville Predators sweater. Our clients are an important part of our lives. Ryan is one of the kindest, uh, probably best teammates that. Uh, any of the guys here or in Nashville or in Columbus have ever had. Uh, his heart's as big as gold. He cares about people um, and he's just really fun to be around. Yeah, he's awesome. He's a great person. He's, uh, he's one of the most genuine guys uh, you'll ever know. I think just, uh, having his teammate as friends for the years, he's, uh, he's very caring. Um, he always, always kind of does everything for his friends. And I had to play with him for that long. It's kind of weird.
I think the, the future in hockey for Ryan, it's, I, think, I think it's unlimited. Like I said, he's only 31 years old. Um, it's only early November when we're doing this interview. So we'll see how well the Avalanche do this year. Hopefully they go all the way and he's a part of that. I still have never had the chance to play in the Stanley Cup Finals. And, you know, I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to, to be a piece that can help us get back there. And obviously, they have a special core of players here that, you know, we want to try and compliment and, and play really solid around. And, there's lots that go on, there's lots of expectations, there's, you know, focus in on those details and the little things throughout the whole year and, and enjoy the whole process of it and, you know, set ourselves up in a good position come the end of the season to, to start playing for the Cup.